What up everyone, Martina here, and today we're making a giant epic tome. The first step is dealing with the pages of the book, which is, well, the most essential part of a book. I'll use it as a sketching and drawing book, which is why I'm using this super thick hardcore paper, and that's also why I had to separate all of them before I could do anything else. My only advice would be not to use copy paper, because you can barely write on that stuff without tearing it. When I had all the hundred pieces separated, I could fold them into pages. Now I'll make signatures, which is a set of between 4 and 8 pages put together to make up the book. I used 7 pages in each signature. Awesome! It's already starting to feel like a nice and heavy tome. Real leather would have probably been the better choice as a cover, but I bought a ton of faux leather a while ago, so I just took the opportunity to use that here. It was very convenient that those drawing pads I bought have hard cardboard at the back, because I need those for the front and back covers. The bunch of signatures were so big, I, I just couldn't fit the hand clamps around them, so I had to bring out some bigger, stronger ones. Gotta keep them in place while I mark where to punch the hole so I can sew the pages directly to the spine on the leather. Then I can make the marks for the holes on the leather as well, now that I'd measured everything, and then bring forth the awl that I'd use to actually punch the holes with. Now I just had to do some final adjustments to the cover before I started sewing it together, which basically just meant cutting the edges properly and making a nice and rounded edge at the top and bottom of the spine by tucking them in with contact glue. I'm using a stitching method called the long stitch method, mainly because, well, I thought it looked cool. And as it turns out, it's also really simple to do. You just sew up and down, and each time you get to the end of a signature, you just thread a needle so it's tied to the previous one before entering the next. It was also super easy to change the thread whenever I ran out, so no worries there. If you want to know more details on this sewing method, I'll leave a link below to the tutorial I followed by C. Lemon down in the description. Now I could glue on those cardboard covers with more contact glue. With those in place, I tuck the edges in, and I'll deal with the inside later, cause I'm gonna add some more detail first. This thing is gonna be huge. Which is one of the reasons why I'm adding two buckles to keep it shut. And it kinda looks like an old spellbook that way. 
I made this stencil of a shape I liked and cut it out of the same leather. Again using contact glue to attach everything together. Let's glue those to the book as accurately as possible. Just for the look of it, I added three brass studs in each of the corners of the diamond shapes. I simply slid a flat hole with an exacto knife, pushed the stud through and spread the two pins on the other side to keep it in place. The next step is basically repeating the last one, using the same template to create the belt that would go around the whole book. The only difference was that I added an extra layer of leather on the inside to strengthen it and to make it look better. The only thing left to finish them was to punch the belt holes with it all and close the book for the first time. As a final touch I'm adding some more of those studs as well as some corner ornaments around the edges of the book. I mean, I could have stopped here, but why stop when I can add more epicness to it, am I right? I didn't want to glue those corners on because I was afraid that it would leave a mess. So I decided to sew it on instead, which worked just fine. And of course, the obligatory cat interruption. Let's move on, we're almost done. The outside is done but we can't just leave the inside looking like a mess, so I used the remaining cardboard from the pads, covered them with white paper and glued it on with spray glue. Can't even see or feel the unevenness now and that's it! We've got a nice, heavy, epic tome. In between projects we're posting updates on our Instagram at the Nerdforge, so make sure to check that out. I also want to thank our Patreons for supporting our channel and all of you for watching our content. Let me know what you thought about this project in the comments and maybe I'll do another in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.